as Florida is proving, there are casualties when you are changing cultures. And a locker room is certainly where that's going to happen. Uh, Brenton Cox has been dismissed from the Florida football team. Of course, he's the ex-Georgia transfer. Uh, He was a pass rush guy, etc. He appeared last week to have punched Georgia running back Kenny McIntosh after he scored a touchdown on Saturday. Uh, Billy Napier said it was time to move on from Cox. It was not one incident, but it was a cumulative effect that led to dismissal. This is what happens when you have culture change inside of a locker room. You are trying to switch out uh, the vibe of the room, etc. If if this is a cumulative effect, then this is something that uh, has been coming for a little while now, and it's it's going to send a big message. It's going to send a very strong message uh, when you you know dismiss a fifth year redshirt junior outside linebacker that you know had a lot of tackles, a lot of you know quarterback hurries, etc. Like this was a talented player. I, you know. I, I don't know I don't know necessarily what it means for this season, but maybe it's a net positive going forward. Uh, I think it just kind of goes to show that Billy Napier is not going to put up with with any kind of crap uh, from his football team. Now Brenton Cox did come out afterwards and said uh, he did issue his statement. And he said, being a part of this program and having the ability to wear the number one jersey was an honor and a privilege. I find it hard to express my disappointment in being dismissed from the team. It is truly a shock. Uh, I have always had a competitive spirit. I think sometimes that gets misconstrued. And I would assume he's talking about the swipe that he took at Kenny McIntosh. Uh, He said that he is now turning his attention to preparing for the professional ranks while vowing to work and have positive influences as he moves forward. Uh, He he declared for the NFL draft. So he's he's not going to try college again. I don't even know that he necessarily had any eligibility left. But... Yeah, this is an interesting spot here for the Florida Gators football program because it's going to do one of two things. It's going to fracture the team for the rest of the season because who knows how many players on that team were uh, still friends with Cox. Uh, or it could end up you know, locking this thing in and letting everybody know exactly what the expectations are going forward. Uh, you, you've seen it all, I would imagine, on Twitter, everywhere else, of the players that talked about F this team and whatever else after some of the losses this season. That kind of stuff is exactly why you have a change in leadership. And you can't just swap a culture overnight. It's almost impossible to do. What Josh Heupel has done is incredibly impressive. He came in late in the last cycle, and within... You know, just over a calendar year, about a calendar year and a half, now has the number one football team in the country. But I don't know how much of that locker room situation was poor. It was just a poor coaching job. When you have complete decay of a locker room culture, it's going to take a little while to get out the pieces that don't need to be there, that are not worried about team success, etc., and now, Billy Napier did go through this at Louisiana. By year two, he was off and running, uh, and you saw what happened after that. This is only year one. Now, Brian Kelly appears to have fixed a lot of things at LSU. Let's pump the brakes on that. There's a lot of talent there. They haven't made it through like the meat-meat part of their schedule just yet. Let's see what they look like at the end of the season, as they get through November. Uh, maybe Brian Kelly's a miracle worker, too. We'll see. But Billy Napier uh, doing, I think, what he feels like he has to do in order to uh, get this thing moving right along. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.